Well, hello, you wonderful peoples, and well, oh, this is Hooligan, and we're back on chapter 20. Oh my gosh, is that a big, big number? Uh, I never thought I'd really make it this far, if I'm being for real, but here we are, and oh yeah, we about to do some Minecraft. And in the last one, we built this hamlet, and oh my gosh, do I love it. And I promised that I would get the interiors done and finish this thing off. And guess what? I'm going to stay true to my word, and that's what I'm going to do. So uh, we just go ahead and whip up a little uh, in a little tavern area. And, uh, well, as we're doing this, I'm just going to say that, oh, we got some seriously big plans. I've mentioned it in the last episode, but it's going to be our first mega build. And we got to start preparing for that because, oh, my gosh, is it going to take a long time. Anyways, back to what we're doing right now. So we whip up our little tavern, and this is like our executive suite. This is if you got if you got a little extra money, this is what you choose. Now this is just your standard room. If you got one copper in your pocket, this is this is where you're staying for the night. No big deal. And a little common area. It is what it is. Now this here, I originally wanted it to be some type of cathedral. Now, this was going to go across the way on the hill. However, I have a different idea for that, and we'll get to that in a second. So I decided I wanted this to be like a meeting area, like town hall, blah, 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 whatever. You know, a preacher comes by wandering out of the woods. That, that's where they would set up shop. Uh, at least that's what I think of my brain whenever I think of a hamlet and how they would function. And this is the executive suite. If you got lots of dollars, this, this is where you stay in. And of course, we had to tie everything together. And the best way to do that, in my opinion, is to just make a little road and throw out some big, big fields. Now, we're going to have two giant wheat fields here and also a little flower field. Now, the wheat fields make total sense to me because, well, this thing is right next to a giant capital. So it would not only be supplying wheat to the hamlet, but it would be trading its excess wheat and resources to the city for other needs that the hamlet would have or want to have. So it makes total sense in my brain that it would be there. That's the way I like to do things. It, I, I like to think of it, does this make sense to be here? It, it, I don't know. So sometimes it does make sense. Sometimes it doesn't. Whatever. I still do it. But anyways, back to it. Um, so we got our first little field done. And once it grows in, it looks awesome. And our little flower field up there is pretty cool too. Ended up adding some mud to it just to get rid of some of the green. Because there's just too much green. Um, and this little uh, area right here, these little tents, I like to think that these are hired workers that have wandered by from traveling and they needed some money to get more supplies to be on their journey. So if they set up camp and they say, okay, we'll work the fields for a few bucks. Uh, it's just, wow, I think they make sense. That's what I would do. If I needed some dollars, I'd be like, all right, I'll, I'll get these crops and I need some, some, some mutton and whatnot. So I'll work this for a little bit and then I'll move on. And this is that little hill that we were going to put the church on. But we have different plans. And I think that's going to be a pretty cool point. I'll talk about that in literally just like 10 seconds. Um, but now this terraforming here didn't take much. This whole project really didn't take much terraforming. And I don't mind doing terraforming. But it just it, it's awesome whenever the landscape just works out in your benefit. Like It doesn't happen that often if I'm being for real. And I uh, just throw a little bridge so we can get over to our new little future project. Yeah, it's just, just a bridge. It's okay, I guess. Yeah. Well, what is up, my dudes? Oh, yes. Uh, did we spend 60 days on an intro? It, maybe. Maybe. But this is episode 20, so we have to go harder than we have ever gone. Like, ever. We we just got to go full blast with this episode. Uh, we're sitting at 3,416 days. And this Hamlet, oh, I love it so much. Uh, let's check it out. Now, all the big interiors are done. All the small ones, I'm not doing on camera. Why? Because they're they're small. I can't even fit a camera in there. So, yeah, I'm just going to do those off camera. But all the big ones, we did. And that right there. We were originally going to do a church or a cathedral or it's not really like a real life church, but something that, that somebody would worship. However, we don't want to do that because we got the cathedral, uh, the cathedral of Jeb right over there. And, uh, well, I have an idea. Check this out. So I have quote unquote died uh, to totem pops, not actually died, but the totem saved me three times now. So I'm going to make three little uh, mausoleums here representing those potential deaths because uh, I would have been dead 100% times. One to fire, one to a creeper, one to smack on my face on the ground. And every time we pop a totem, um, we're going to put a new grave here. And uh, oh, I, I want to say I, I'm not hoping that I get a bunch of graves, but... Uh, let's just be real. Your boy, your boy's gonna pop some totems. That that's just, uh, yeah, that, that's gonna happen. 
Anyways, let's check out some other plans. All right, so we're back at our map yet again, but I will keep it brief. So all our real estate right here, that all got ate up by the Hamlet. And well, we have plans for here. We have plans for here. And the project we want to start um, preparing for, we're going to be doing most of it on stream, if I'm being real. That's about to be starting real soon. Um, it's just too big to fit here. It's too big to fit here. And it can't go in the ocean. Yeah, uh, when I chose this world, I didn't realize there was quite so much ocean. Um, but it, it is what it is. Anyways, so I think we're going to have to eventually expand this map from a 4x4 four four to a 6x6. Six six, because our projects are getting big. And they're probably just going to keep getting bigger, honestly. So I'm going to go scout a little bit down here and a little bit over here and see if we can't find a spot to uh, put this project before we expand these maps. And I'm not going to expand the map this episode. I'm going to wait till around day 4,000, uh, assuming we're still alive. Let's go check out some uh, real estate. Okay, now, well, this is to the west, and uh, it, this is high potential. Let me explain to you what I plan on doing. Now, I want to build a very, very, very large tree. Uh, I know people have done it before, but I kind of got my own, own idea of how I want to do it. Uh, especially since the focus of it is not actually going to be the tree. The tree is going to be the point of uh, worship of the city I want to build around it. A very, a very, very large city. Um, it's either going to be a Japanese architect inspired or heavily involving elven um, inspiration. The, the thing is, though, I kind of want the city to be surrounded in mountains. So I would have to build a lot of custom mountains. Uh, well, that one right there is already a mountain. But I would have to surround a good portion of this. And we're talking about weeks and weeks and weeks of work. But that's kind of what I want to do. I want a huge, huge project that we can do on stream and have fun and goof. And, uh, well, it's, it's going to take a long time. But before we commit to this one, let's go check out real estate to the south. Okay, well, to the south, we got some ideas of what we can do down this way, but I don't think it's going to vibe with what we're thinking. Now, the the colors of the savannah just ain't going to work with either idea, although we can come up with some ideas to do down this way, because uh, there's always going to be projects. And then let's check one more spot. And this is all the way to the uh, southeast if we expand our map, and, well, I don't think this is going to work either. I definitely can see some stuff going here, like a cool little mini port city there. Eh, who knows what else? Uh, I think prospect number one is the way to go. But anyways, let's get our episode started. All right, now we're sitting here with the War Council, and we got a ridiculous amount of stuff to do. Like, oh my gosh, you don't even know yet. It, it's absurd. Uh, anyways, uh, how again? You been training them new soldiers? You, you did? Okay, okay, that's progress. That's progress. And you done talking about that bone? All right. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to go check out your, uh, what you got done. It, what? I don't care about the squirrel you saw. I, I don't care how bushy its tail was. Did, yeah, all right, listen, man. You have seriously got to treat your OCD, bro. Come on. Like, like seriously. You're the commander. These other soldiers are looking up to you. I'm done with you. I'll talk to you later. So you know your boy has a build for this episode, because I have one in every episode, and even when I'm off camera, I'm just always building stuff. That's just the way it is. Anyways, we have three big things we need to do for this episode that are not building. I guess one of them kind of is, but whatever. Uh, we are training up some new doggies, because I don't want to risk the ones I have, and, uh, well, we need some new soldiers, because I want to go caving. I need diamonds. I am diamond broke. Oh, uh, yes, I am diamond broke did. It, it's, it's sad, but it's true. But whatever. And we also need, da-da-da-da, 76 gas tiers. Why? Because we are going to open up every single end gateway, which leads us to the next thing we need, being that there's a huge, huge project coming up. Uh, we're going to need at least, and I mean at least, 30 extra shulker boxes. Yeah, yeah. So we need to shut up and get to working. Uh, let's start this off by uh, building a gas farm. That sounds pretty cool. Let's do that. We got ourselves a little spot right off the road to our Wither Skeleton Farm, so it kind of worked out perfectly. And, well, this design here, I learned how to make it from Kelp MC. I don't know if it's originally their design, but I'm going to give them props because their video was pretty easy to learn from. 
Anyways, uh, let's rock out this gas farm and get on to more things because we have so much stuff to do. That'll do. That'll do nicely. And we're not going to build our road back to our hub here just yet because we didn't bring enough rails to spawn proof it. Yeah, we'll do that a little bit later. You know, I didn't plan this when I started the episode, but uh, 20th episode, 20 dead dragons and 20 in gateways. Uh, kind of makes sense. Yeah. Anyways, uh, material montage mode, uh, getting ready. We're going to need a whole lot of glass, a whole lot of gas tiers, a whole lot of uh, ender pearls. We don't have enough of those, but we can get those in the end, no big deal. A whole lot of rockets, um, and a whole lot of golden carrots, because, well, we're, we're going to go see if we can get killed by the dragons. And that should be everything we need. We can get the rest of the ender pearls when we go to the end. Uh, we're going to go slap around a whole lot of dragons. And we hop right through our end portal and we start getting things set up. Now, in the last episode, I destroyed almost an entire bastion for the materials. And I told you it was for a dark build. Well, guess what? This is the dark build. Just just trust me on this. Trust me on this. Uh, it's going to be cool. Have faith in your boy. I'll feed you. I'll feed you. Uh, anyways, this is the first time I've ever in any world respawned the, the dragon. So this should be fun. All right, well, being that we've already killed the dragon one time and we're, we're already summoning this dude, uh, we're going to start a counter op, and we're going to start at 2. Uh, and by the time we're done and we hit 20, all the gateways will be open. And there's the achievement, the end again. And we fight these uh, dragons, all 20 fights, we never take a single piece of damage, ever. No, don't worry about those hearts. Those, th th that was a, a glitch, you didn't see that. Uh, yeah, we are so absolutely good at this game. Like, I don't even know how I'm not pro. Like, is there a pro league for just random nonsense in Minecraft? Yeah, see, all them hearts are full right there. It's kind of like, yeah, you ever see your dog, and, like, the dog thinks if it doesn't look at you when it's in trouble that it, it, it didn't happen? Yeah, that's what we're going with. Anyways, we can just go ahead and wipe out our first dragon, and it is time to just go ham on these dudes and just shred them to pieces, because, well, this takes quite a while. Um, several hours, honestly. All right, well, that's one. 18 more times. I'll just pick the best fights and footage. There's going to be a lot of close calls.
All right, 19 dragons down and one more to go. And this one's special because this will open up the last end gateway. And it'll also be the last time we fight the Ender Dragon in this world ever. Uh, because we're going to be destroying all these pillars and making a custom end island. Uh, or something like it. I don't know. It's going to be really cool. But, uh, you know I don't plan stuff. Come on. Uh, but yeah, so before we take this dude out, we're going to try to collect up as much uh, Lingering Dragon's Breath as possible. And then uh, we're going to uh, just end the dragon forever. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so we end up getting 20 full stacks of Dragon's Breath. That's right. We ain't playing around. I am totally lying to you dudes, by the way. I, I gave up. Yeah, it was really, really stupid and annoying, and I, I straight up gave up and decided to end the dragon forever. All right, for the last dragon, we really wanted to get a whole bunch of the Dragon's Breath, but oh gosh, was it freaking annoying. I gotta figure out if there's a farm for that before I destroy this end island. Because uh, that that took, like, as much time to get a stack and a half of the Dragon's Breath than it did to kill, like, ten of the Ender Dragons. It was really stupid. Anyways, let's, uh, show, uh, let's see why we did all this. Oh, that is glorious. You know your boy's gonna build something out of this. I'm also gonna have to probably TNT glitch all these bedrock. Huh. Anyways, let's, let's get going. All right now, 20 dragons dead and 20 gateways opened. And, well, we got other things to do in this episode, but real quick before we get to that, I want to make all of these accessible. So, super duper quick build. So we start getting our ring of portals set up, and, well, I'm going to be using shaders for a fair portion of this build, especially when it involves any of these portals, because, well, it helps with the blinding, flashing beam lights. Like, seriously, like, without them, they're just, like, a strobe light going off. It, it's it's kind of annoying, honestly. I even tried to find, like, a data pack or something that disabled it, uh, just because it was it was really annoying. Like, it, there's no way to turn them off. Uh, I, I guess if I, like, found some way to go into creative and set the delay tick or whatever for them to, like, forever then they would never go off again but I, I don't do that this is a hardcore world so uh, it is what it is we, we work with what we got all right so the end portal drops us right here which is awesome and we got a little bu bubble column elevator just going up there and just a little safety rail because your dude's an idiot and i don't want to fall off into the void And it brings us right up to the top and uh well uh, this is kind of the design we're going for for each portal and we have to decorate, you know, the actual, I don't know if I call it a bridge, the ring, whatever. And I intentionally do not want this thing to be a perfect circle. I want it to be a circle, but kind of wonky. And that's not out of laziness. I just don't think it would be a, a, a perfect circle in this situation. Because what I want to do here after we finish this, and it's not just going to be flat either. We're going to add some bottom stuff to it. Is I want to kind of just recreate the Enderman's home on this island, the way I kind of would envision it. We're going to leave some of the end stone. We're going to take out a lot of the pillar, but we're going to do things a little different than most people. We're not going to delete the entire pillar. Why? Because I think it'd be really cool if we selectively delete portions of the pillar and then use other dark materials and make like tentacles coming out of the end island. I think that would look really, really cool. And that'll also kind of entangle with uh, their home. I don't know what an Enderman's home would look like, but we're just going to wing it and, and uh, use inspiration from the end, use inspiration from all this, this, this Blackstone, and as well as the Warp Forest. Why? Because that's what I want to do. So let's get to doing it. Damn. 
Alright, so I lied to you dudes. I didn't mean to, but it happened. I wasn't originally going to remove these pillars. Uh, I always knew this one had to go because I wanted a straight shot to the exit portal from our bubble column if need be. Uh, but after I deleted it and uh, started working on two of the little ones, I was like, well, it only took about an hour and a half to do all three of those. It's not unreasonable just to take them all out and save the obsidian for a farm or something later and just start with an open canvas. But anyways, we're about to go do some other stuff because I need a little break to just revamp my brain. But we're not stopping on this. We're going to get this done and I'll, some other cool stuff too. But this is the, you know, We're going hard on this one, like I said earlier. Uh, but one last little note is we, we kind of came up with an idea that uh, like I still want to do the tentacles and I still have some big ideas how I want the end island to look. But my main goal is for the island itself to look alive. Like it is a celestial thing in space and the Endermen are living on it. Um, yeah, that's what I'm going with. But right now we're going to go home and we're just going to go goof off and have a little bit of fun because I, uh, I need a little brain break. Alright, so we're back at our hamlet and uh, we've assembled, we'll call them uh, First Recon. Yeah. Uh, we're going to see if we can't get these guys to go through our nether portal all the way to the north where we were digging out uh, the trial chamber because that was pretty deep. And uh, I'm betting we can probably find some caves around there. And if not, we'll see if these guys do well fighting the stuff in the trial chamber. I don't know. S sounds fun. Let's see what happens. All right. Well, that worked. Uh, let's see if we can get them there. Uh, okay. Well, I guess we left one at home. Uh, seven's going to have to do. All right. So we went back and got our other doggy. He was stuck in the in the portal back at home. And uh, apparently I left six shulker boxes here. I don't even remember doing that. Uh, anyways, uh, we, got our, uh, we got our tank top, and we decided to go ahead and use our mace because we also brought along some ominous bottles. And I think what we're going to do first is just see if we can't do a couple of the, uh, the, the, the spawners in the trial chamber. Maybe they'll give us some diamonds with some ominous. I don't know. And then I hear zombies and whatnot around here, like specifically over this area. And we got plenty of uh, little caves that we dug when we were getting our uh, tough block. So if that doesn't pan out, then we'll just start digging around for some caves. Yeah, let's see how good these dogs do in here. Now, we had three goals when we started this episode, and dang it, we're going to get all three goals done. Yeah, it, like I said, this episode is going to be really long, a lot of fights, and, and it, it, it is what it is. Hopefully uh, somebody out there likes a long episode because that's what's happening. Anyways, uh, doggy trial chamber uh, time. Uh, and, well, these guys actually do pretty well in here. Um, they do really well against the breezes. They do well against all the skeletons. They do well against the zombies. They do not do well against the spiders. Um, I mean, they do fine killing them, and the spiders aren't really that much of a threat. But they get stuck in all the webs. Or maybe that was the webs being caused from the ominous? Uh, did the spiders just drop the webs in this? I, I don't know. Well, whatever happened, they kept getting stuck. And it was really annoying. Yeah, but whatever. Uh, we ended up not getting too many diamonds. We got like six diamonds. That's pretty lame, considering I spent about an hour doing this. And uh, we, we we decided we're going to end up just going and doing some caving. But we're already here. We might as well just finish it off. And, well, th there really was no threat. I mean, the only thing I really found that I hadn't spawned already in this area was spiders. 
And they weren't going to kill me. It, it just was not going to happen. With my uh, chest plate and all the golden apples I have and golden carrots, it just wasn't going to happen. So uh, we, we get the last of the stuff when we get out of here. All right. Well, we did the rest of the chamber. We're still going to destroy it later. And we did not lose a single soldier. Um, and I only had to use about a half a stack of armadillo scoot to repair them up. Not bad. And I think it's time to cave, though, because... Well, uh, the, the diamonds weren't coming very quick from this. Oh, uh, I hear zombies over here. Something's over here. Oh, uh, this'll do. Oh, this'll do just fine. Let's go get our dogs. You know, as I get to mobbing and collecting up these diamonds, uh, I guess my dumb dumb self didn't even tell you why I wanted them. Uh, I don't need them for armor or tools or weapons because I can get those from my vendors. Yeah, my, my villagers uh, don't need them for that. What I do need them for is, well, I want to add a stack of jukeboxes to our decoration box. And also, I have one more armor trim to go in our museum. And, well, I do not have the diamonds to duplicate that. And being that it's the silence armor trim, I ain't getting but more than one of those, if I even get that one. It is ridiculously rare. Uh, but anyways, that is not for this episode. But we're going to get ready for it because, well, I'm definitely not, uh, you know, stalling and procrastinating about the mind-numbing amount of obsidian I have to dig. I would never do that. No, no, I would just, yeah, okay, we're, we're just getting diamonds right now. All right, well, we came here for a stack of diamonds, which we almost got. We're happy with 59. All our doggies are still alive, and, well, we got a lot of other awesome loot, too. Uh, I think we're going to call this mission a success and head on home. Uh, we're going to leave the doggies here, though, because there were some big caves around here, and it was kind of awesome just mobbing with these dudes. All right, troops, uh, I'll be back. Hold on to fort. Over 16,000 obsidian mined, and, well, it, it, it sucked. It sucked a lot. If I have any advice to anybody who plans on doing this, just just don't. Just just don't do it. Oh, my gosh. I, I, if I would have known how annoying this was going to be, I might have actually thought of a way to get around it. I, I don't even know. Like, just cover it up or uh, I, I don't know. But it, it wasn't worth it. It wasn't. Or maybe it was. I don't know. We're going to find out. But we are not done with our end island yet. We still have a couple things we want to do. We want to at least add some of the tentacles in that I was talking about to hold up our ring of portals. Uh, we can call it the the God Ring, the Ring of the Ancients. Uh, I don't even know what it's going to be yet. And so we, we have an idea for the design for the tentacles. And, well, we have tons of the supplies, except... We are low on regular blackstone because we used a ton of it that we got from destroying the bastion and doing the ring. Um, so I'm going to see how far I get with what I have and I'll go from there.
All right, now, admittedly, this uh, has taken way, way longer than we originally expected. Uh, this project got big, but it happens, and it is what it is. Uh, and Well, here's what we're thinking, okay? This is going to be more than one episode of work, because we want to convert this whole island. Only about 15% of the end stone is actually going to be visible when we're done. We're going to be spreading all these tentacles and other growths across the island and on the sides. Oh yeah, let me tell you how excited I am to be building over the void. Oh my gosh, does the void terrify me. There's no coming back. You're done. It's, it, Totem can't save me. It's over. And uh, it, it only takes a couple seconds to not be able to switch to your rockets and get out of there. But whatever, uh, we get one of our little tentacles set up, and we're going to have some really, really big ones. We do a medium-sized one in this build here, and it's not even the biggest. Like, we're going to go really big with some of these. And uh, like I said, coming out the side, um, little ones holding up the god ring. Actually, you know what? We're going with the Ring of the Ancients. This is the ancient one. That's what we're going to call them. And uh, by the time I'm done with this, probably in the next episode, like I said, just being honest with you dudes, um, the ancient one will be done and he is going to look so evil and awesome and I'm excited for it, but well, we have a lot of planning and building to do. So I'm going to shut up yet again and we are just going to rock this out real quick. I'll be right back. All right, so the build portion of this episode, it, it's over. If that's the one thing you came for, it, it, I'll see you in the next one. Yeah. But we ain't done with the episode yet. We still have a little bit more we want to do. Uh, but as far as building goes, uh, we're tapped out. It, it, it's, it's it. I'm holding my last stack of Blackstone. We are out of Skulk completely, like not a block left. We have no Netherrack. We have no Bone Meal. Um, yeah. So I can't really go any farther with this com considering I'm trying to turn the island into mostly this corruption here with some of this corruption. Um, I, I, I don't have any stuff to do it with. Yeah, whatever. But I made a promise at the beginning of this episode. I said I was going to get diamonds. That's done. I said that I was going to open all the gateways. Well, guess what? That's done. But shulker boxes are a problem. Yeah, so I'm going to end this off, and I'm going to go just pick a random gateway that we haven't been through before, go fight just a couple of uh, um, end cities, and that's probably going to be the end of the episode. And, uh, well, if you made it this far and you're tapped out and you're ready to leave, I understand, dudes. I do. I appreciate you being here, but we still have a little bit more to do. All right, so our original gateway was, like, right there. So we're going to go complete opposite and try this guy right here. Let's see where it takes us. Okay, nothing directly in sight. Uh, let's start by getting some of this chorus flower. We're going to need that for the island. 
So we gather up some of the fruit, and here very shortly we figure out a much, much better way of doing this. And uh, let me just say, I've been playing Minecraft for quite a while, and it just amazes me some of the stuff I don't know, or just all the new things you can still learn in this game after playing for years. Alright, so we got ourselves a stack of coarse fruit, and we can grow more of this back uh, on our end island. I'm going to make some type of farm out of this, I'm not exactly sure how yet. But uh, we came through our little portal right over that way, and well, there's an end city right here, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, let's go wreck this thing. Now, since the creation of this world, we've had a few data packs installed, and I've talked about them before. Uh, we've had the uh, little mini blocks from the traders. We have the all mob heads, where all mobs have a chance to drop their uh, heads when killed. We have uh, anti enderman griefing because it really, really annoys me when endermen pick up blocks. Like, dude, leave my crap alone. Like, it, it, just stop. And uh, well, one of the other ones we've had installed the entire time is uh, double double shulker, shulker ugh, with words, double shulker boxes. Yeah, pro words. Uh, but here's the funny thing, it has never worked ever. Um, I have not been to the end cities since we updated to this new version of the game, and now it works. I, I, I don't know why all of a sudden it works. But whatever, I'm not complaining. Honestly, I'm so late in the game that this is just in inventory management at this point. It, inventory in this game absolutely sucks. So I think we're just going to let it go. I, I don't know. It, it is what it is. But um, yeah, so we're just harassing these introverts here, always hiding in boxes, weirdos, spitting at people like jerks. And uh, well, these are some of the fun fights of the game. The, the levitation can be really, really annoying. But at the same time, I, this is some of the few times I actually pop golden apples. Because, well, I've mentioned it before, you're fighting one shulker and you're just never going to die. But when there's like 12 of them shooting at you, multiple projectiles each, it can get wild. But I wasn't really too worried about it. Uh, so we just get to wrecking this thing. And uh, we don't get too crazy of loot. We get a few more diamonds. I think about 10. And we get a little bit of gear that, well, honestly, we're never going to use. Uh, because we already have max gear. And we're about to have double max gear. Uh, as soon as we get just a little bit more netherite. But whatever. It's more about the shulkers. Because I need the space. Like I said earlier in this episode, we have to gather hundreds and thousands of blocks for future projects. It, it, it's going to get crazy, dudes. It's going to get crazy. And uh, just Matrix dodging all these spitballs. Yeah. Alright, so we came out pretty good. And like I had just said while I was doing all this, uh, the data pack started working. I don't know why. It, it, I'm not sure if it feels cheaty or not. I'm so late in the game and it's just it's just a matter of time for me to have to go do more. And it kind of makes sense that they should drop their shells. I mean, they have two shells. Like, why wouldn't they drop them? I don't know. Well, it is what it is. But I also learned something. Like, check this out. If you if I break this stalk here, let's see, there's a coarse fruit up there. It doesn't drop. If you silk touch it, it does drop. I did not know that you could just shoot the fruit off. This is going to make farming this so much easier. I think I could even make a farm with it now with, like, dispensers. But whatever. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's just head a direction. If we find a portal to go home, we'll take that. If we find a small to medium city, we may do that. Let's see what comes first. Well, we immediately find an exit portal. And we say, well, we're done. We're ready to go home. But before we do, I just had to take the chance to use this mechanic in the game that I didn't know was here for half a decade. Oh my gosh, well, I, it, it, no pillory needed. All right, I think that'll do for now. Now that we got all the rings open, we can come back to various locations and just find new cities anytime we want. Uh, let's go home. We are sitting at 3,532 days. I honestly have no idea how much time I actually spent on this episode. I gotta guess that it's in the... 40 or 50 hour range because it was almost all in the nether in the end. I, I didn't sleep. I, I, I think I took like three rests in a bed the entire episode or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. There may be a little bit more when we were finishing off the Hamlet, but whatever. Um, we got to get right back to the grind. We need a whole lot of resources and we got a lot of things to do because this was only half of the end transformation. But one little quick uh, announcement before I head out. And that is we are planning our first live stream for either next Tuesday or Friday. I have not picked the date yet, but as soon as it's set in stone, I will make a little video announcing it. And even if I'm the only one in there or in just in there with one cool 
peep, uh, whatever. Uh, that's what I'm doing. So, uh, as always, thank you all so much for watching. It truly, truly means so much to me. And, uh, well, I'll see you in the next one and hopefully live really soon. Later, dudes.